Good afternoon, friends. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about a problem on vectors. So I will share my computer screen with you. There is a plane flies at an airspeed, speed in still air of 500 miles per hour on a bearing of north 35 degree east. That means it's flying north but at an angle of 35 degree to the east. An east wind, wind from east to west, is blowing at 30 miles per hour. Find the plane's ground speed and direction. So this is the solution. Okay. So, if we take this, uh, let's uh, draw a diagram like this. This is Y. Okay. This is the north direction. And this is X, which is east, easterly direction, east. Okay. So the plane is flying at 500 miles per hour at a bearing of 35 degree to the north. That means north 35 degree bearing to the east. That means from the ex north, it makes an angle of 35 degree and it is flying with an angle of 35 degree. So this angle is 35 degree. Okay, 35 degree. And this is the plane at 500 miles per hour. Okay. Now, remember, there is a wind that is blowing from east to west at 300 miles per hour. So, this is the wind blowing at 300 miles per hour. Miles per hour. 300. Okay. So, this is the wind. So let's first get the x component of the plane speed. So x component x component of the plane speed plane speed is 500 times cosine of the complement n is 90 minus 35 or 500 cosine 55 and there should be a direction i is the unit vector in x direction i which is 286.788 i I, of course, I use my TI-84 calculator to find cosine of 55 degree, then multiplied it by 500. Now, remember the wind is flowing from east to west. So, x component of the wind speed of the wind speed is equal to <coughs> The wind is blowing at, sorry, not 300. I made a mistake here. I got to correct myself. This is uh, 30 miles per hour. Okay. So this is 30 miles per hour, not 300. So the it's going from east to west. So in the easterly direction, the component is minus 30 R. Because it's going... Since it is uh, the wind is blowing, since it is blowing from east to west, east to west, or in the negative i direction, negative i direction, because it's on the negative x axis. Okay. 
So net x component of the speed. So if I write here net x component okay of uh, next x component speed is 286.788 i minus 30 i which is 256.788 i okay and then we need to do the y component. So, give some space. So, y component, y component of the plane speed, of the plane's speed is 500 times sine of 90 minus 35 i or 500 sine 55 i which is um, 409.57 409.576 so it should be j right it's in the y component not i my mistake this is j and this is j because it's in the positive y direction 409.57 j okay so hence the net hence the planes net resultant speed magnitude Sorry, not really young. So magnitude. Magnitude. Is equal to square root of the x comb I mean square root of the x square. I mean square root of sum of the squares of two components, the x component and the y component. So the x component is 256.785 square of that plus the y component is 409.57 square of that. Okay. And that works out too with my calculator is 483.02. Okay. So, if I create some more space, okay. So now we have to find the angle that the plane makes with the positive x-axis. The angle that the main that the plane makes with the positive x-axis positive x-axis is tangent of inverse tangent okay so we're trying to find the angle it is the y component divided by the x component so 409.57 divided by 256.785 okay and uh, this is equal to tangent of inverse of, we take the ratio, which is 1.595. And that is equal to 57.93. Now, this is, this is the angle of the plane with the x-axis. So, with the y-axis, so with the y-axis, The plane makes an angle of makes an angle of angle of 
90 minus 57.93, which is 32.09 degrees. So, if I create some space, hence the plane's bearing will be Hence, the plane's bearing will be plane's bearing means the angle it makes with the y-axis, positive y-axis, will be north 32.09 and it is going in the east, easterly direction. So this is the final answer. That's the plane's bearing. Taking into account the wind speed and the plane speed, original plane speed in steel. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. Thanks for watching.